back to my channel so today I have to do this spring makeup look using all affordable products all of them they most of them are drugstore but most of them aren't but they're definitely all affordable because to follow me on my social medias platforms Instagram snapchat I post a lot there um and yeah if you know want to know how to get this look then just keep on watching Hey guys and welcome back to my channel so I'm starting off with the Milani Milani palette in bare necessities and I'm using um, the light brown shade as our transition color and I'm just using this with a Sephora Pro blending brush but a dupe the cheaper version of that would be the Morphe M433 brush it looks exactly the same and it works just the same I just didn't use it here for a reason that I don't know I just forgot about it <laughs> but yeah I'm just putting that all over my crease as a transition to help all the other colors blend together and yeah now I'm going in with the Carly Bible palette and I'm using that third shade it's like a darker brown and I'm just giving more depth to my crease and putting that right right under the first color that we use and for this i'm using the m441 i believe is the long tapered brush and yeah i love this brush for that it fits perfectly and it's so perfect for the crease and to add another color so i'm just blending that right under it just blend 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 remember blending is key now I'm going in with the Sigma E40 brush and I know that this is not affordable. It is it, not affordable or drugstore. It's but another dupe that you could get is the E23 by Morphe. And now I'm going in with my lid color and this is the infallible eyeshadow in uh, Amber Rush and it's a nice rosy pink color and I'm just putting that in my lid with a uh, flat shader brush I mean the flat eyeshadow brush let's talk about my faces that I'm making here while putting on eyeshadow <laughs> but yeah I'm just putting that all over my lids and yeah was making sure that my camera wasn't focused Now I'm going in with the Wet n Wild Poster Child eyeshadow. It has a bunch of colors and I'm going in with that darker pink because I wanted this look to be a little bit more pinkier on the lids. And um, I'm using the Beauty by Rosita brush. This brush is only $11 and it works wonders. It is so good to blend out the outer crease. So that all your, your eye, uh, sorry, all your eyeshadows could be seamless and I'm going in back with the E40 and doing some more blending and I did my wings off camera but you know after doing your wings you get your you lose some color in the crease so now I'm just going in with the Morphe 200 M200 and just blending some more now I'm going to start off with the face and I'm using what am I using the um, Nivea Post Shave Balm, sorry, <laughs> and I'm using the e.l.f. Poreless Primer. I love this combination. The e.l.f. Primer is a really, really, really good primer for only $6. And here I am singing and just blending that all over my face. Now I'm doing some color correcting and I'm using the e.l.f. Color Conceal and Correct Palette. I'm using this green shade to, of course, get rid of the redness that we all get it's horrible I hate that <laughs> because by the end of the day my redness does peek through so I'm just using the green to make it last a little bit longer and yeah I'm just putting that wherever I get red now I'm using that orange shade or oh, it's like a some like a salmon color to give it more brightness under my eyes I love this palette it's only like ten dollars I'm pretty sure and it's amazing. I love the formula and I'm already like 
the hitting pan on that salmon color because I love to brighten up my eyes a lot. I love a really good bright under eye. And here I am just singing. And yeah, just more color correcting. You just need a really, really, really light layer. So that's why I keep blending and blending. So now I'm just going in with foundation. And I've been loving lately the Rimmel Lasting Finish 25 Hour Foundation. It's skin perfecting and full coverage. And yeah, I've really been loving this. It's only like $6. And it's a really, 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 really good drugstore foundation that lasts all day. And I'm... you. Um, I heard Amanda Ensign here on YouTube rave about this foundation. She said it was pretty good for a drugstore. So, lately I've been obsessing with drugstores, so I wanted to try it out. And I'm just blending that in with the Morphe M439, my Holy Grail foundation brush. I prefer to apply my foundation with um, a brush, and then if I have like OD foundation like I do right now, like excessive, I would just blend it in with a beauty blender to take it off all the extra foundation. Now I'm concealing and highlighting. So for concealer, I'm going with the NYX HD Concealer in CW4. I'm guessing that's what it's called. And I'm going in with the Master Conceal in Light. This is my highlighting shade. I, like I said, I love a really bright under eye. So I'm just doing a triangle under my eye, under my eyes, then under bridge my nose, the chin, the forehead, etc. You guys know the drill with this. And I'm blending this in with the Beauty Blender. My Beauty Blender is not really a Beauty Blender. It's a sponge from Real Techniques. And honestly, if you guys are on a budget, I definitely recommend this brush. No, this sponge sorry it's amazing for blending now i'm just well i'm doing a little bit of baking with the air spun it's going too fast for me air spun loose powder and now i'm setting my face with maybelline fit me matte and poreless just setting the rest of my face where i'm not baking and i really like this powder i manny mua recommended it so i'm just trying it out and now I'm just applying some mascara. The first mascara I'm going to use is the Colossal Volume Express. And I'm doing a few coats of that. Oh, and before I use the Real Techniques setting brush to set my smile lines. Because I do get to crease under there. So I always got to set it. Now I'm just wiping away that baking with my big fluffy brush from Real Techniques. I'm obsessed with this brush. And now I'm just highlighting even more and I'm using the Wet n Wild Contouring Palette in Dulce de Leche. I bought this again because of Kathleen Lights. I swear these YouTubers make me buy all the makeup in the world. And I'm using the lighter shade just to highlight under my eyes. It's a pretty good powder. Now I'm just using the Rimmel Natural Bronzer in Sun Bronze. This might look a little bit orange muddy on me but I like it I work with it so yeah I like a really good dewy not dewy but bronzy skin it's bomb and I'm just using a cheap brush from my brush set it's pretty good with this bronzer and yeah it's an angled brush So just high, I'm just bronzing the cheekbones, temples, under my jawline, etc. You guys know the drill with bronzer. Just bronze away your whole face. Now I'm going in with blush and I'm using the Milani Luminoso brush, blush, sorry, and I'm using a Sephora brush, I know I'm sorry, it's not affordable, 
But yeah, and now I'm going into contour with the same contouring palette and I'm using the darker shade and I'm using a Morphe brush M523 which is perfect for contouring. It gets right under the hollows of your cheeks. Now I'm baking with an e.l.f. contouring brush and just putting some air spun loose powder under my cheekbones for a sharper contour. Now I'm going to highlight with this Wet n Wild Illuminating Palette and I'm using the two lightest shades which is like a gold and a pinkier shade and just mixing those two and I'm going in with the M501 brush. I love this brush for highlighting, it's perfect. So I'm just doing that on the top of my cheekbones, on my nose, my forehead, Cupid's bow. You guys already know the drill. Just highlight everywhere basically. Got a glow. Especially for spring and summer. Dewy skin is a must. So just keep highlighting. And now I'm just blending away that contour. Make sure there's no... Everything is blended together and there's no harsh lines. Now I did apply some falsies. I know I didn't show it in here. I'm sorry. I just wasn't in frame while doing this, but I use the Ardell Dummy Wispies. These are the ones that I've always used for my videos, and I love them. They're so natural. And I'm going in with the NYX Retractable Eyeliner in Aqua Green. Just putting that under my eyes, and I'm setting that with the same Wet n Wild palette, and I'm using that minty blue teal shade and yeah I'm just using a flat definer brush not yeah I think that's what it's called and just setting the eyeliner so that it could stay in place all day you always gotta set your creams with powders that is a really big tip with makeup if you want it to last all day especially with eyeliners especially if you have watery eyes that's definitely what I recommend So yeah, just apply, just set your eyeliner. Now I'm applying some mascara. Um, I was using the Telescopic Carmen Black for my lower lash line and to blend my falsies with my real ones. And for lipstick, I'm using the Milani Creme Nude Lipstick with NYX Butter Gloss in Madeline. I love this shade for spring and summer. It's so beautiful. It's like a nudie pinky shade. And after you apply your lipstick, this look is complete. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Oh, I forgot to show my inner corner highlights. But I use Milani Bella White eyeshadow in my inner corners. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.